yo what up welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial in the last few videos we used firebase to create this nice looking login screen and essentially we dealt with the authentication right so we can sign users in we can sign up users and also last video we dealt with this forgot password so we can send them a password link now let's turn our attention to when we go to this register page Right now we're just collecting the email and some passwords so let's try to collect some more information about the user okay maybe things like the first name last name and maybe the age and i think that should give you guys enough understanding to add whatever you want for your apps right whether that's price or location things like that so let's give this a go so if you go to your firebase console and you click on the database firestore Let's create a database and let's just do test mode for now. And let's just choose your location. Okay, I'm just gonna use US Central. So this is where we are going to collect the information from our users. And so we can start a collection and I'm just gonna call it users. And let's just auto generate an ID and just as an example if i was to manually input this let's say the first name is a string and we want to put in mitch so now that we've created a database for it let's go back to our code and the first thing you're going to need to do is to go to your pubspec.yaml and last time we used this firebase auth package for the authentication but now I want you to add this cloud firestore. Okay, and this is the version number that I'm gonna use today. So save it. And what I wanna do is, we had our login page, and if the user registers a new user, I wanna add some more text fields, and let's add a few more details about the user. So the age, first name, and last name. And like I said, from that, you can actually add whatever you want that's more specific to your needs, whether that's price or, you know, where you live and things like that. Okay, so let's go to our register page, which is this one here. And currently we have three text controllers. So the email, password, and the confirm password. So I'm going to create a few more here. Let's say first name controller. last name controller and let's do one more let's do age controller so from here you can add as many controllers as you want so if you want to add some more details like the price maybe the location of where they live i'm just going to do these three and it should give you guys a good idea on how to add more specific to your app so first name last name and age controller so let's just quickly add that here as well. Cool, and let's create the UI for it. So I'm just gonna grab this first email text field with the sized box underneath. So that guy, I'm just gonna create and copy up here. And let's make it a first name text field. Then we should change the controller to the first name controller and the hint text first name okay so we're going to do the same thing and add a couple more so last name text field and finally the age text field so let's have a look at how this looks cool so here it is now it looks like because we have so many text fields up here, we can actually clean up some of these. So at the top, we've got the logo. You can leave the logo there if you like, but I think, I think we're good to just get rid of it. That's good enough. And so now we can start typing stuff in here, right? So let's see how to do that in our code. So once we fill out all this information and we click sign up, we're going to call this sign up method 
And so what it's doing right now is just authenticating the user. Okay, so we're just creating the user, right? What I'm gonna do also is if the password is confirmed and everything's all good, then let's add user details. Okay, so I'm actually gonna rewrite this and say create user. Okay, so this just creates the user with the email and the password for authentication purposes. And then let's add user details after that. So for this, I'm going to create a new method underneath and say future add user details. So if I just show you, say, um, await Firebase Firestore instance, this is going to automatically bring in that Firestore package that we, that we added in earlier. So Firebase Firestore collection and the collection path. So this is the name of the collection and we called it users. If you don't manually create this like we did at the start of the video, then it'll automatically create it. So nothing to worry about there. And then we can simply just add some information. So await Firebase Firestore the instance, and this is the collection that we're going to add it into. And let's add it here. So this one is going to be, the formatting is like a map, which basically if I show you, we wanna add a first name. And a last name. and also the age, email. Let's say we wanna add these four information to our user in our collection. So you can actually put in a string here, like Steve, but when we create the user, so if I click on register now, and the user types in their name, Steve, then we can access this through our first name controller. So we wanna pass this information through to this method. So like, let's accept some parameters. So in the add user details, I wanna accept a string called first name, a string called last name, a string called email, and an integer for the age. Okay, so let's just swap these around. And we can give the first name here, the last name to this one, email here, and the age can go there. Cool, so now that we created this method, when we sign up and we create the user, we can now call this method here and say, we have to give it the first name. So let's say first name controller, text and trim it. The next thing we need is the last name. So I'm just gonna copy this, but just say last name. And we also need the email. So let's say email. And the last thing is the age controller. Oops, we should get rid of these names. Now with the age controller, because this is an integer, like I want it to be an integer, whereas the other ones are strings. So that's why we have no problem in the first three, but this last one is gonna give me a text. So I wanna convert this to an integer. So let's just say integer pass this guy. Cool, now let's see if this works. I'm just gonna save this. Let's register and let's say Steve, jobs his age like 77 steve jobs at gmail.com and create a password and if i sign up i'm signed in and then if i look at my database here you can see that was the one that we created manually but this is the one that we just created okay so using this we can now 
have a collection of information that's more than just authenticating the user. Okay, we have information like age, first name, last name, and the email. And depending on your specific needs for your app, you might need different things, right? Like maybe like the price or something like that. Uh, maybe the rating as well. So a lot of things you can collect about the user, but hopefully just with this example, you're able to understand how we can add information to our cloud fire store. Awesome. So this bit of code was what we worked on today. Maybe in the next one, we can also work on an ability to have like a settings page that we can update this information through the app. Okay. And we can read and write as well and update and delete. So the normal operations we'll try to cover in the next couple of videos. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any issues. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.